All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Oh my god, massive news for Ark. Holy crap. Okay, so first of all, a trailer and an article appeared on the PC Gamer website. They did a official kind of sneak peek of what is coming to Ark in the tech tier and coming up to launch, like what's going to be introduced. And holy crap, this is really, really cool. So I'm going to play the trailer for you guys. You guys can watch that. And then I'm going to go through all the stuff. We're going to talk about some of the things that were mentioned in the article. And yeah, it's going to be amazing. So make sure that you guys beat the crap out of that like button. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. All right, guys, so holy crap, did you enjoy that? That was absolutely fantastic, Jesus. There is so much cool stuff revealed in that trailer. Um, Oh my God, I am so excited. And this is stuff that's coming pretty soon because they did talk about um the, when they were doing the Tapish Arrow update, they said that the next update would bring in the power armor. So obviously we didn't get that. The one after the Tapajara, I believe was the Shali and the PGMs and stuff. We didn't get the power armor with that update, but that probably means that they pushed it back a little bit further to finish off the things, and I'm glad that they did because, holy crap, it looks amazing. I cannot wait for this. It's going to be fantastic. Anyway, so they've been pushing it back. It's probably, it's looking like they haven't given an official release date, but they said it would be introduced before the actual release of Arc, which is coming early next year. I'm willing to bet probably it's going to drop officially in maybe March. Could be February. I don't think it's going to be as far as April. Um... So that's that's definitely something to look forward to. And uh, holy crap, there is a lot of cool stuff. So we're going to go through all of it here. Um, so I guess we'll start off with the armor. Okay, guys. So first of all, they talked about a couple little boosts and uh, little additions that the armor would actually give to the player. So first of all, the helmet, um, as you saw at the very start of the trailer, it has a targeting system. So when you're, when you're wearing the helmet, and probably you have to wear all of the armor to do this, but uh, hopefully not, actually. If you could just wear the helmet, that'd be pretty cool. So when you're wearing the helmet, you can actually turn on a mode where you can track dinos, you can track players. It shows you the location. They have, like, a little outline. So they talked about the... The outlines would basically represent um, hostile, neutral, and all that. So does that mean that you can see that enemy dinos are actually on passive? If that is a thing, that's going to be completely OP, because then you could just kill that thing from afar if you knew that that was on passive. So basically, that is the targeting system. They also have a night vision mode, as you can see right here. Um, it doesn't look like it's kind of the exact same as the night vision goggles. It's probably, I don't know, it probably would still target them as well, I guess, and maybe it brightens up the screen a little bit. It's kind of hard to tell in the trailer here, but uh, I look forward to finding out. So they also showed off the gauntlets. Um, the gauntlets have... That super punch thing that he did towards the end of the trailer. Oh my god, that's amazing. Like, you basically just leap forward and, like, do a super punch into the ground. You're like Iron Man. Holy crap. And actually, this whole trailer makes me think that people are just going to paint their armor, what is it, red and gold to actually look like Iron Man. Because you are essentially, you're essentially Tony Stark with all this armor. <laughs> so the gauntlets will allow you to do that massive power punch and... My question is, is that going to do to torpor? Is that going to like gonna be able to knock out dinos? Could you jump up in and punch a titan in the face to knock it out instead of shooting rockets or cannonballs at it? That would be really, really cool if you just like jumped up and knocked out a titan and just like Conor McGregor'd him right in the face. <laughs> That'd be amazing. But it says that it also does a knockback. So maybe if you hit the ground near players, it like knocks them back and stuns them or something. I don't know, but I'm really excited to find out. So... Let's move on to the chest piece. The chest piece is pretty pretty simple. It's just the jetpack. Um, obviously, you know, 
in most of the mods, like the jetpack is like a separate thing in this mod it, or in this in this mod. It's not a mod in this update. It's going to just come as like the one piece of so the jetpack and the chest piece. So that means that you can hold a shield because in most of the mods that are already out there, you actually replace your shield slot with the jetpack. So pretty cool. Um, chest piece is basically just that. So yeah, let's move on to the pants here. So you have a speed boost with the pants, as you've seen, as you can see right now. You are like running super, super quick, and um, that's gonna allow you to evade dinos. That's gonna allow you to evade enemy fire. If you're being shot by like turrets or something, I I'm not sure. Do you just move this fast, or is this something you activate? It's probably something that you activate actually, like the tech armor mod, probably. But um, yes, with this with this boost, you're gonna be able to run super, super quick. <laughs> you're like the Flash in this. You can be Tony Stark and the Flash essentially. <laughs> so. Um, as well as the running super fast, when you are running really, really fast, you can actually run through structures. Now, it shows that they ran through some uh, some wood there, but I reckon that you're probably going to be able to run through stone. Because if you're at the tech tier stage, stone is not really going to be a material that you're worried about. Metal is probably something that you can't run through. Well, I kind of hope that you can't. <laughs> but um, stone, definitely, I, I do think that you should be able to run through that. If not... That's okay. I mean, running through wood is pretty cool. You could take out an enemy base by just running through the pillars or something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's pretty amazing. And uh, they never talked about any boost for the feet, though I think that maybe it will take away fall damage. I don't know. They never talked about it or like any sort of boost or anything for it. But uh, fall damage would definitely be a cool thing for them to take away. Uh, yeah, that's my kind of guess on what they're going to do with the feet. <laughs> so on top of all that, like cool abilities with the armor you're also going to be able to paint the armor just like the other mods that are already out there and obviously i think as well like the slot six will be for the leds like it is for every single mod you can paint this different leds on the suit instead of just having the normal cyan and you can also just paint the armor and right here they actually show off basically the power the power rangers essentially <laughs> pretty cool but uh yes so that is the tech armor it is amazing and they also talked about the fact that you would need element to actually activate these things so maybe you like i don't know would you create like a power core or something or do you actually have to have this item in your inventory and it would just consume one when you use one of these functions or something i don't know um but i guess we'll find out pretty soon element they talked about that before as well i think it's meant to be crafted from black pearls now they might have changed that since but uh, that's what it was before it was supposed to be you had to get black pearls and then you could craft element from that so probably like black pearls and angler gel or something like that um, I don't know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so let's move on to the rest of the news here So the tech rifle is the next thing that we're gonna be talking about. Holy crap. This thing looks and sounds amazing oh, I cannot wait for this especially this has been shown off in the dev kit a couple times It has a scope it has something down below that resembles a grenade launcher or something like that possibly so Definitely that would be pretty insane if you could shoot grenades out of this thing because there is actually tech grenades coming as well um, they are in the dev kit. They never talked about it in the article, so maybe they're a little bit further down the line, but tech grenades will be a thing eventually. So the tech rifle, as you can see, it has like a cooldown, so maybe that will kind of substitute for like a reload animation. Instead of having to reload, you just have to cool down for a couple seconds or something. And this rifle is probably going to also require element to operate as well. Um, I assume all of the armor and everything tech will just require elements, so you're just going to be constantly farming this stuff. And that will definitely force people into the ocean. They're going to be setting up bases in the ocean, which we're going to be talking about in a second, uh, to actually farm up like black pearls and whatever else you need to actually get this element. Um, so holy crap, this is, this is totally going to change the way that people play Ark, and I'm so excited. But this rifle, um, I'm thinking that maybe, like, does it stun dinos? That would be pretty cool, right? If it could, like, stun them. Kind of like the uh, photon rifles and different mods that they already have out there. Um, but, yeah, they never really said much about it, just that it's a rifle. So it probably just does straight-up damage and maybe it doesn't stun at all. Or maybe you can turn on a function where it actually does torpor. I don't know. Like, that would be pretty cool, actually. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll find out, though. So another thing that we need to talk about as well is the dino armor. Now, we all know that there is a giga laser helmet in the dev kit. There is also some Rex stuff, and you can see right here, they have a really cool animation for the Rex. Like, he just, the thing just comes out from the side, and the laser just appears, and then look at the armor on him as well. He just looks fantastic. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is so, so cool, and I cannot wait. But, um, basically, this is gonna be, like, 
it's essentially going to turn your Rex into just a killing tank, essentially. And you, you're also going to have these for, like, Gigas and the likes of that. Probably for some, like, higher tier dinos like a Quetzal as well. I'm thinking that they're probably going to put something in to turn it into, like, an air tank or something. Uh, maybe even lasers, actually. That'd be kind of cool. You could turn, like, a Quetzal into, like, an X-Wing or something. Oh, uh, that'd be fantastic. But there is some more dino armor stuff that we're going to be talking about in the next segment. Basically, the next thing that we need to talk about is the underwater bases. And I'm going to throw up an image right here. And uh, straight up, you can see a Tech Mosa armor. So that thing has laser on its head. It has, like, armor up its spine. Man, that looks so cool. <laughs> Holy crap. Could you just imagine running into one of those, like, a player on one of those just attacks your base? And underwater bases will be a thing. So are these things going to be just killing underwater bases? Are you, like, are you even going to be able to actually make an underwater base with these things in there? I don't even know. <laughs> that looks insane, though. So the underwater bases, as you can see, it's just a rough little kind of representation of what it's going to look like. The uh, You can see it's kind of like a pillars. It's essentially just a normal building, except it's underwater, and it's going to have, like, probably an airlock and uh, different things like that. You're probably going to need to gather resources from the surface to bring down to actually make this thing operate, so you have to go to the surface every so often, but it's it's going to bring a huge like a huge dynamic to where you're going to be living like are you going to build your base on land or in the water that's going to be a question from now on when you can actually do this and what are the benefits of actually living in the water besides being near element like well black pearls to make element what are the other benefits of living in the water there probably is a couple um yeah so you can read about all this next week in the um in the pc gamer issue and uh, it's coming out for subscribers on the 18th and then i think i guess you can read it in the uk on the 17th or the 6th for the US. So you guys can go ahead and buy this, or I'm sure it's probably going to be online as well. You can read about it there. But uh, yeah, so you can, like, there's going to be some more information released next week. I'm going to try and actually go through all this information, release a new video, talking about all the new things. But just first of all, in the, I'm just going to throw up an image of the actual issue there. You can actually see there is a tech uh, T-Rex in the background, and then the, the girl just there, she has her tech rifle on her arm there. And she has the tech armor on. She doesn't have it all on, though, which is kind of weird. Um, I guess they kind of wanted to make it clear that that's the, uh, I guess, the cover girl for Ark. <laughs> the same one from the original artwork. And in the background there, you can actually see that there is a, uh, a player flying up there. And he has, like, a red a red smoke, actually. That means that you could probably paint the different, or, like, color the different smoke. Or, I guess, I don't know, energy? I don't know what the hell that is. Like, propulsion stuff, I guess. You can color the smoke or whatever comes out of the jetpack like to be different colors to actually suit to you i guess if you like your favorite color is pink or something you could do a pink maybe if you're if you're the pink power ranger <laughs> so you can also see that there's some sort of laser beam thing pointing at the tech rex maybe that's something that they're going to talk about next week but i uh, can't really make out what that's supposed to be but uh yeah that looks that looks absolutely fantastic so one more thing i was thinking about um and they never actually talked about it will the tech armor substitute for scuba gear because you can see that there's a player in in this image and just circling back to this you can see that there is a player there with a ichthy and uh yeah he's he's got like the tech armor on does that mean that he has like oxygen in that suit as well is that a thing that's happening i really hope so because that would be really really cool but uh you can see anyway he's just kind of sitting there with his with his ichthy and like it doesn't seem like he has a different oxygen tank on the back it just seems like it's Maybe actually the jetpack can you can be used as like a uh, propulsion system for inside of the water as well. Man, that would be awesome actually. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you can also see in the background there are spotlights in the tech base. There's more players up there in the background. And in the far back behind the jellyfish, you can see, I think that looks like it's probably another base. And uh, coming with all this stuff, I bet that there will be like underwater turrets, uh, probably like harpoon guns instead of like ballistas. And uh, maybe you'll be able to actually get like a harpoon gun for the player. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know. This is all brand new information. Not a huge amount of um, not a huge amount of detail with all this, but we will be finding out about this in the coming weeks. So I will keep you guys posted. And that is pretty much it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it really helped you understand what is actually coming to Arc soon. And I hope you guys are excited. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure that you beat the absolute crap out of that like button. And if you guys want to see more or any Arc Let's Plays or anything, make sure that you subscribe to the channel because we got a lot of cool stuff coming out lately. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> so I will catch you guys next time then.